A decidedly unusual ship docked in Sydney Harbour today. The Plastiki successfully completed an 8,000 nautical mile voyage across the Pacific Ocean starting out from San Francisco. It's an amazing feat considering the boat was made using plastic bottles for buoyancy and a variety of other recycled materials including a glue made from cashew nuts and sugarcane. Leader of the expedition, David de Rothschild, said their aim was to raise awareness about the impact of plastic goods on the environment. It's crazy that today we stand here and you go a couple of hundred miles off the coast and nobody is claiming responsibility, which allows people just to do what they want and allows them to abuse the ocean's depths and its so-called scale to literally take up the last of our fish resources or to dump plastic indiscriminately. Mr. de Rothschild said there was an estimated 13,000 pieces of plastic rubbish per square kilometre of ocean and single-use plastics like shopping bags and water bottles needed to be banned to reduce their impact on marine ecosystems. The four main items that are ending up in our ocean are the plastic bag, the plastic water bottles, the lids from the plastic bottles and styrofoam cups and containers. Those items we can actually eliminate today. Welcoming the crew of the Plastiki to Sydney was the Deputy Lord Mayor Philip Black. He outlined Sydney City Council's commitment to reducing and reusing plastics, but admitted the legislative power lay with state government. The City of Sydney cannot enact legislation uh, the same way that the San Francisco City and County uh, organisation can do. We have to work as our locals will know with the state government, and getting the state government to agree on a lot of these initiatives is another program. The Plastiki boat will remain on display at the Maritime Museum for the next month, where the crew hopes it will inspire others. So what I would urge is for a revolution in material science, for a revolution in understanding plastic. And I wouldn't just point fingers at plastic and say plastic is the enemy. I would ask all of you the question of, is it plastic that's the blame? Or our inability to understand the material, how we use it and how we dispose of it, 